So it's your choice seven day challenge. Why am I teaching something in a challenge format during a challenging time, pretty much in everyone's world? Well, I really sat and thought about this. And the reason that I brought it to the table as a seven day challenge for seven minutes over seven days is life really is about challenges. And it's more about how you show up for them necessarily than how the challenges present. So do you show up feeling defeated or do you show up in a creative space looking for solutions? When you are faced with challenges and choices, do you lock down and become victimized by them and wait until default solutions land in your lap and then move down that path simply because it's the easier path to move down? Do you bucket a system and step up for a fight that you know you're never going to win simply because you have that energy that you need to expend. And the reason I bring these things up is these are all experiences that I've had over the course of my life. I have fought against things that were never going to change. I have been sidelined by things that I could have changed, but I came to in a state of overwhelm and couldn't take the next step because I simply couldn't see the next step. I have had, oh goodness, conflicts and challenges that have shown up for me that were ultimately easy to resolve, but because I didn't have the tool set or skill set or creativity to see beyond it, I made poor choices that I had to then live with. So I bring these to the table to make you understand and help you comprehend and help you ultimately change to really getting the point that when you become more flexible, when you become more adaptable, when you become more open to your own intuitive, creative nature, to finding that space within you of peace and balance, Really, what you start to look at is solutions versus challenges. How can you adapt within an ever-changing world? And to resist change really is to resist life. So it's your choice is about how you're showing up. Number one for you, but for the people around you, for your community, your families, the people you love, and how you're showing them how to show up for themselves. So this is why I'm teaching this course. This is what I want you to get from it. If you fail to move into this place of flexibility, this place of creativity, what ends up happening is you get stuck, you get sidelined, you start living a smaller life, you start compromising, tolerating, and excusing other people's poor choices around you because you will value stasis and complacency and really peace at all cost over fulfillment and joy and happiness. And that's not a life you want to live. When you look at people who are living expanded lives, who are living, who are living their full potential, it's because they've hit these creative spaces within and you don't come to the creative spaces within without having come to a challenge and stepping up to it. So that's why I'm helping with this course, moving it out, making it accessible, because I want you to understand when you can come at a challenge or a problem or a conflict within a creative, peaceful space within yourself, solutions are there. They're always there because that is what life is. It's about finding solutions that work for you no one else. And that's what I want to bring you home to that space within you of confidence, of creativity, of balance. So once you take care of that, once you have the tools for that, you're going to look at everything moving forward with a whole different eye. You're going to have confidence as you approach your challenges. You're going to have confidence as you approach the problems in life, the changes in life. I can promise you that much. So I'm excited about this. I look forward to hearing how you move forward with it. So let's get started.